Hi friends, this is Mayor Mohammed. I am still obese, but we're making progress. Welcome to the end of week five of my 20 pounds weight loss challenge. Last week, I promised to share with you how the breathing process helps us lose weight and causes the fat to leave our bodies. So how does excess weight leave your body when you move more? Do we sweat it out? Does it dissolve? Do we simply excrete it? Before I tell you, I have to take you back to chemistry class, but don't worry, this won't be painful. I will make it as quick and as simple as possible. Our bodies are made of billions and billions of atoms, which make different types of molecules, including fat molecules. When we consume more than what our bodies need to function, excess atoms are turned into fat molecules. Here is what a fat molecule looks like. 55 carbon atoms, 104 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygens. Pretty big, huh? As you see, there are many carbon and hydrogen atoms in each molecule of fat. When we burn more calories than we consume, we force the body to use that fat to create energy. The more we move, the more energy we need. To create that energy, the oxygen we inhale combines with the fat molecules in the energy-making process, turning the fat molecule into carbon dioxide and water that we exhale out. Essentially, you exhale your fat out when you move. The more you move, the more carbon and hydrogen atoms, the main components of the fat molecules, you are removing from your body through exhaling. So to breathe your fat out, move more. And no, you can't just breathe very, very fast to move more carbon and hydrogen atoms out. That's called hyperventilation. What you have to do is to exert more effort to burn more energy so you could release more molecules. So let's find out how much weight I lost this week. If the information shared in this video helped you get a better understanding about the fat losing process, please help the like button and subscribe to my channel below if you haven't done so. Do it, I'm waiting. It's right down there. Okay, now that this is out of the way, let's find out this week's progress. I hope that you are personally meeting and exceeding your goals. Special thanks to my friend Yasin who committed to walking with me every Sunday. Last Sunday, we walked for an hour. I did 2.5 miles and here's our video saying hello to all of you. So it's Sunday morning before 9 a.m. Just finished 5,000 steps with my friend Yasin. Thank you for joining me today, man. Many thanks to all of you who have joined me in this journey. Thank you for your support and encouragement. After I share my weight with you, I will also share a tip from a friend who lost 15 pounds in two weeks. Last week, I was at 229.4 pounds. This week, after increasing my average steps per day, I am at 228.4. That is almost 1.5 pounds. Next week, I am going to talk about the dangers of sugar in maintaining a healthy weight. Before I leave you, I want to congratulate my friend Alimo Ali, who lost 15 pounds in two weeks by eliminating meat from his diet and also sugar and white starches. In its place, he increased his vegetable and bean intake in addition to using protein cookies and muscle milk. I am excited as I get closer to my goal of 220 pounds before the end of April. I hope that you will join me to find out how I do next week. To do so, please click on the notification bell so you could be notified of my next video. For a bonus, click on the link in the description area of this video to learn more about the fat losing process. Until we meet next Friday, remember, you are doing this for a better quality of life for you and for a better and healthier you for your family. Peace.